Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. <laughs> Tonight I have a very fun video planned and it's going to be a day in the life of a life with ferrets. This is Noodle and this is Pickle. They are the loves of my life outside of my two dogs, of course. Um, but yeah, this will be a really chill video. I'm just going to show you um, what it's like to live with them, talk about feeding them, taking care of them, I play with them, cuddle them, everything. So, um, they're, cra they're crazy right now. They just woke up from a nap and so <laughs> they're not very happy with me. They're like, please put me down. Um, so yeah, um, I just wanted to show you guys what it's like. <laughs> and ASMR. Oh, please don't fall down. <laughs> and... So a couple of things. It's morning time. Good morning. Um, they only sleep in this cage at night time. I just woke up so my voice is a little froggy. Um, I'm working from home today so I figured it'd be a good day to kind of do this little fun video for you. So um, yeah, they sleep in this cage at night and then all day until we go to bed uh, the bottom door of the cage is open, um, so we let them free roam the house. I do keep my bathroom door closed because I don't want them getting into the trash and stuff, but for the most part, they totally free roam my house. So, um, trigger warning, they do eat raw meat only. Um, ferrets are obligate carnivores, so you will be seeing some raw meat, so if that does bother you, skip ahead, um, but that is part of their diet, so um, they do sell ferret kibble in store. However, um, that's really not a good diet for ferrets. Good morning. Good morning. So I'll open this bottom door and say good morning. So this one is Pickle, she's the light colored one. And then this one is Noodle, and I actually got Noodle first. And I got Pickle a couple months after I got Noodle because they are um, pack animals and they really do love to um, have friends. So this is last night's meat, so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that up and be right back. Okay, so um, I got them some fresh meat. Um, this is whole ground up chicken. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, they do eat uh, meat, raw meat. Um, I do give them a variety of different meats. Bandit, I can hear your little tip taps. You can hear my dog's tip taps. Good morning, Bandit. Good morning. This is my sweet boy, Bandit. He's a good boy. But I'm trying to film, so go away. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, they eat um, whole duck, whole chicken, uh, whole turkey, whole pheasant. Um, so I order them from suppliers that kind of do um, pasture raised and ground up so that it has all of the nutrients that they require. Um, ferrets do use litter boxes. Hello. Um, so I have two in their cage. They make a mess of their litter every night, so I did put some of that back. Um, I put blankets in all of their bedding because it helps kind of reduce the smell because I can wash the blankets. Um, but they like to mess up those as well, so. But yeah, I can wash the blankets weekly and it kind of helps with the smell. 
Um, I clean out or I deep clean the cage about once a month, um, but I do wipe surfaces down and stuff weekly. Um, but I do a full deep clean where I take everything out and wipe it all down once a month because um, ferrets are smelly animals. I think everybody knows that and that's I don't think that comes as a surprise. Um, they do smell better when you actually give them a diet um, that they are supposed to eat, aka raw meat, and not a filler or um, kibble with filler in it. So I noticed that when I switched them to a raw diet, they actually smell way better. So yes, it's more expensive. However, that is what they're biologically supposed to eat. So. Noodle is my favorite. Don't tell Pickle, but Noodle is my absolute favorite. She is the sweetest thing in the whole world. She follows me around. <laughs> she does that. Let's see. I bet she wants some treats this morning. Bandit, not for you. Dropped it. Oh, there is more pickle. Um, these are just freeze-dried chicken. Okay, so that is our morning routine. They don't often get treats in the morning, but you know, thought it'd be fun to show you. Also, you know, ferret eating sounds. I don't have any more for you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, they run around all day and that's that. Um, I do have potty pads in my house because although they do go to the bathroom in their litter box, um, they do, they're lazy animals, and so they kind of need more places to go to the bathroom in the house. And so I have body pads and I clean those up daily. Um, they're pretty good about going on them. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Pickle is eating breakfast. On today's menu, we have chicken. Hi, I know. What an invasion of privacy, huh? Are we done? Noodle's playing in her basket. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Nice. <laughs> Good 
Bueno. One thing I forgot to say too, I do use, um, <laughs> so loud, I do use paper litter for the litter boxes because they have very sensitive respiratory systems and so um, regular like cat litter is just not good so I just use like recycled paper litter. They like to like suck on each other's ears. It's the weirdest thing. I think it's because they were taken from their mom too young. Um, also, I don't usually leave a laundry basket on the floor, but <laughs> uh, it happened to be here in um, another kind of way. Um, I just happened to be here, so my husband was doing laundry last night. Um, they play very rough, um, they bite each other very hard, and they make a little chattering sound when they are playing. If you could hear that, that was it. Parrots will play with anything. They are the most curious animals ever. Oh, good chunk. Can you hear the chattering? Right? Live for that sound. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. make that chattering sound when they're happy. Yeah, this is what they do all day. They sleep a ton. They play with each other. They sleep everywhere. Hi! <laughs> they like to sleep um, in the back of my couch. And what's funny is that sometimes they go into like a dead deep sleep and I cannot wake them up for the life of me. But they typically come to their names. Which is very cute. I'll show you their favorite toy later. <laughs> Thank you. 
they're very durable animals. Uh, you can, you know, they're very, <laughs> very flexible. Um, myself some coffee. <laughs> oh, I will note too, they've never once like bitten me seriously. Like they play bite and it's so light and it's so funny because like they could like absolutely like seriously injure me if they wanted to. They have very sharp canines. Uh, but they are just the sweetest little love bugs and they've never once ever bitten me aggressively. And the play biting doesn't feel like anything. Sometimes they scratch scratch me when I uh, bathe them because they're trying to climb out. But they've never hurt me ever. They're the sweetest babies. Yes, you are the sweetest babies. See those teeth? Um, this is my recycling and I put it here and then take it out to the garage and they go absolutely crazy for recycling their boxes. They're like cats, kind of. Well, they were just playing with it. Hi. Every time I have a new shipment of Amazon or something, they just go crazy. How many boxes that they can actually get into today, but hey. Let's see if I can uh, call them. But it's kind of loud, so I'm gonna try to do this in a soft-spoken voice. <laughs> Noodle, pickle. Noodle, pickle. Noodle, pickle. <laughs> Noodle. Pickles like I'm here, I don't know. Noodle. I have one of those um rainbow things in my window. It's always so pretty during morning. usually say them so quietly when I'm calling for them. Also, Noodle and Pickle are both um, girls. If I didn't say that already. <laughs> Good babies. They love to follow me around the house like everywhere that I go to. Just constantly.
So I'm going to show you a couple of things around the house that are specifically for my parents. Um, so number one is this giant tube. Now oh, this is my dog Kira, by the way. She's old and I've had her for 13 years. I love her. She's my precious baby. And then there's Bandit. <laughs> Hi. But this is a video about the ferrets. I'm so sorry. Okay, so... Sorry if you heard them tip-tapping around, I can't really do anything about that. Um, so yeah, I have this sewer, or I guess it's like a, a gutter tube, I don't know. Um, but I just got it from a hardware store, so they love tubes. And then this is a bin that I filled with... <laughs> Kira, go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Um, this is a bin that I filled with rice, and um, they love to play in this. Um, it's, they'll just jump in and like wrestle each other in here, and sometimes I'll put, um, toys in here and kind of like hide them underneath, um, but this is just dry rice. It's actually good for their coats. Um, it actually helps absorb some of the oils because the reason that um, ferrets are so smelly is because um, they have a lot of oils on their fur. So they're actually very clean animals. Um, they just have a lot of oil in their fur. So having this dry rice bin actually helps to absorb some of the oils from their coats and uh, their ears, which is actually where they carry the majority of their um, scent. So yeah, I often move stuff around the house too, just to like give them a change of like scenery and like um, stimulation, essentially. Um, so yeah, and then over here, sorry, you can probably hear my air filter. Over here is the toy bucket thing. I don't really quite know. I also put the dog toys in here. Um, but these are all the ferret little balls. And actually, this is like a ball pit. And they go crazy in here and just like throw the balls around. So I have all kinds of fun toys in here. Um, with ferrets, you have to be very careful about what kind of toys and stuff that you give them um, because they will chew stuff and swallow them and then get um, stuff stuck in their intestines and then you have to do or get an emergency vet visit so um, I have these little plastic balls and you can see they chew on them but they're safe because they don't actually eat these they just their sharp teeth just puncture them and then I have these these are rubber. Oh, that almost squeaked. Oh, there's one. Hi, do you hear me playing with your toys? <laughs> there's the other one. I told you they sleep in the couch. Hi. Hello. So yeah, they love the ball pit. They also just love playing in boxes. Hi. Hey, sweetie. It is the afternoon, so we just woke up from a nap. And we're gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, we don't need to film that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, hi, Noodle. So yeah, that's pretty much the toys that they have. Um, also, they love to stash this type of stuff. Um, they will stash, if I lift up my couch right now, which obviously I'm not going to do that because it's extremely heavy. Um, if I lift up my couch right now, like, there's probably like this many toys underneath the couch.
they are stashers by nature. It's like how they, um, in the wild, they stash food and stuff like that for later food storage. And so they naturally do that. And so I don't discourage it. I just every once in a while <laughs> lift up the couch and clean it all out so that I can put all the toys back in here. I'm actually a pretty clean person. Um, my house doesn't really look that clean right now because I, I was so busy this weekend and I didn't have time to clean it. So it's like a little, um, there's just kind of like stuff everywhere. So <laughs> please don't judge me. I have four animals. I have a full-time job. I make ASMR content and I also horseback ride three times a week. So <laughs> my life is chaotic. I'm doing the best that I can. Also, all my animals drag out all of their toys and stuff all the time, so like there's only so much I can do because it just gets dragged out. <laughs> So my pajamas, my pajama pants, and it is noon, but I'm working from home, so don't disturb her. She's relaxing. Oh, thank you, thank you. And you want to climb up too? Okay. <laughs> She's like, wake up and play with me. Okay, that's rude. <laughs> oh, she's cleaning her ears. They love to clean each other. Leave her ears alone. She doesn't want that. Oh. You gonna go play? because they will move everything around. Okay, so every other day um, they do get vitamin E oil and um, this is just to help their coats and it's just a vitamin that's beneficial for them but it's liquid. So I'm going to show you what that looks like if I can get it opened. They absolutely love this stuff. so. Oops. i just give them a couple of drops. Outside of um, raw meat, they also do eat one raw egg a week. So I'll whisk up a whole raw egg and give it to them in a little bowl, and they eat that once a week. And those are really the only other things they eat. They eat outside of the um, meat. Okay, so I have it there most favorite toy in the entire world. This is the one that I was talking about. It is just like one of those <laughs> cat toys. And it's got like a um, bouncy string. So if they pull it, they can actually like catch it and run away. 
what cracks me up about this is that they will especially pickle <laughs> do that <laughs> give it back come on <laughs> but I really see how they're predators when they play with this thing so like grab it and like shake it and it's just crazy shake it like they are predators I mean they like I said they are obligate carnivores which um, what that means is that they cannot their bodies cannot process anything but meat or animal products so things like organs bones um, everything fur feathers Pretty good at sharing toys. Can I have that back, please? They only like the ones with the dangly things on the end, like these things. They don't like just like a plain string, I found. So I have a bunch of those just like in the closet. is a day in the life of ferrets. We play, we eat, we nap a lot. <laughs> um, like I said, they do free roam my house, so they're out all day. Um, they have access to my whole house except for um, my bathroom. And at nighttime, they sleep in their cage. I leave their cage open all the time and put their food and stuff in there. Um, so that they can go get food and stuff like that. Um, the problem with ferrets, though, is that they do stash their food. So um, I try to kind of monitor food time as best as I can so that they don't go stash raw meat under my couch. Super gross. Yeah, something to be aware of <laughs> if you want ferrets. They always get a spurt. Of energy at like 10 p.m. too, which is always super fun. The little boss just get me. They're very itchy animals. That's what it's like. Noodle is a kisser. She loves to lick your face. Pickle, not so much. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was chaotic to make. <laughs> um, ferrets are crazy, but so much fun. Uh, truly, some of my favorite, or like besides dogs, my second favorite animal to ever own, and I've had a lot of animals, so if I didn't
questions in the comments. Um, I will respond back if you have any questions about owning ferrets. Um, I mean, whether what it's like, um, taking care of them, cleaning, anything. Um, like I said, I tried to remember everything, but it's so much and there's so much that I just do like day to day that I don't even think about. That's like just part of the life of having ferrets. So, um, yeah, happy to answer any questions if you have any. So, um, as always, I hope you're doing super, super good and sweet dreams.